5 Things to Know About Boeing's Problems Over New Airplane Investigators at a lab in France and a field in Ethiopia are looking for clues into the second deadly accident involving Boeing's newest jetliner, while DNA testing has started to identify the remains of victims. As the investigation proceeds, more details have emerged suggesting similarities between last Sunday's crash of an Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 jet and another deadly MAX 8 accident in October. Here are five things to follow as the investigation continues. The Investigation Experts on Friday in France began analyzing the so-called black boxes from Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, which plummeted to the ground shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa. Preliminary satellite data suggests that the jet's flight path was similar to that of a Lion Air Max 8 that crashed October 29 in Indonesia. The Indonesian investigation focuses on whether flight control software embedded in the plane automatically pushed the nose down repeatedly, and whether the pilots knew how to fix the problem. Earlier this week, investigators searching the wreckage in Ethiopia found a part that controls tail surfaces used to make the plane rise or descend. The surfaces, the 737 MAX has flight control software that can automatically tilt the stabilizers if sensors detect that the plane is in danger of losing aerodynamic lift from the wings, which is necessary to stay aloft. That is suspected in the fix. Boeing shares were hammered all week but got a small bump Friday after a report by the agent's France Press News Agency that the company will produce an upgrade to the MAXS flight control software in 10 days. That would be quicker than expected. An airline industry Boeing declined to comment and Charles Bickers, an airline spokesman, referred the AP to the company's previous statement, which said only that the upgrade would be completed in. Why is IT taking so long? Boeing executives and technical experts briefed pilots at US Airlines that fly the MAX in November about the plane, less than a month after the Lion Air crash. They mentioned change Boeing aimed to finish the work in April. Boeing has declined, they. Boeing won't comment on the time it has taken engineers to finish the work, but deal and industry officials familiar with the situation say it isn't as easy as upgrading an iPhone. Engineers had to find out what the system was doing on the Lion Air flight, how the system's commands appeared to pilots, what changes needed to be made to software, manuals and training, and the best way to make those changes. Then they had to write new software code test it you first in the lab, then on a 737 MAX simulator, finally in a flying plane. And they had to be sure, whenever. Cost for Boeing The two deadly crashes and the worldwide grounding raised two risks for Boeing financial losses and a reputational damage. Analysts think Boeing can overcome both if the company convinces regulators relatively quickly that the problems with the plane and its flight control software, and there are no more accidents. Norwegian Air CEO Bjorn Kjos has said his airline will seek compensation from Boeing. Others carriers say Boeing already faces lawsuits over the Lion Air crash, and lawyers say the second crash strengthens their argument that Boeing knew the plane was defective and let it fly anyway. Investigators haven't determined the cause of either crash, but Boeing would face large payouts to the families of passengers if the MAX plane is found to be at fault. Boeing has $7.6 billion in cash, but new revenue could face a hit because the company suspended deliveries of the MAX on Thursday. Travel Disruptions There are about 370 MAX jets now parked at airlines around the world including 72 in the United States. Because the MAX in the US, Southwest is likely to be most affected because its 34 MAX 8s represent nearly 5% of the carrier's fleet and a slightly higher percentage of the airline's passenger carrying capacity. Southwest can American Airlines cancelled about 85 flights Friday because of the groundings use some scheduled for its 24 MAX 8s and others on planes being used to fill in for the now-parked MAX 8s. United Airlines, 
which has 14 MAX 9s that are parked, cancelled five flights scheduled for the planes on Friday and used other planes to add four flights to Hawaii for displaced passengers, said spokeswoman Erin Benson. The airline said in, Helene Becker, an airlines analyst with the Cowan Research Financial Services Company said if the planes are grounded for a long time, ticket prices could rise because there will be fewer seats for sale if demand remains steady. Southwest Ex The MAX 8 crashes in Ethiopia and Indonesia killed 346 people. Travel insurance companies expect a record number of claims from travelers whose flights scheduled on the MAX planes have been cancelled. David Koenig can be reached at